Hi, this is Wendy Lightheart, and in this lesson we're going to be graphing linear equations using intercepts. Recall that linear equations in x and y can be written in the form ax plus by equals c, where a and b are not both zero. Notice the word line in the word linear. The graph of a linear equation in two variables will always be a line. One way to graph the line is to use what we call the x and y intercepts. An x-intercept of a line is the point where the line intersects the x-axis. So let's take a look at several points on the x-axis here. Here's the point negative 8, 0 on the x-axis, the point negative 3, 0 on the x-axis, this is the point 5, 0, and here's the point 9, 0. What do all of these points have in common? Right, the y-coordinate is always 0. It doesn't matter where you are on the x-axis. Every point on the x-axis has a y-coordinate of 0. So to find the x-intercept of a line, since we already know that the y is 0, we just have to find the value of x when y is 0. So to find the x-intercept, we first plug in 0 for y, since we already know y is 0, and then we solve the resulting equation for x. So for example, if we want to find the x-intercept of the line given by the equation 3x minus 2y equals 18, we start by replacing the y with 0. Then when we simplify this, we have 3x equals 18. Divide both sides by 3 to solve for x, and we end up with x equals 6. So we could say our x-intercept is 6, or the point 6, 0, if we label it as an ordered pair. Now let's talk about the y-intercept of a line. The y-intercept of a line is the point where the line intersects the y-axis. So let's take a look at several points on the y-axis. Here's the point 0, 9. Here's another point on the y-axis. This is the point 0, 4. Here's the point 0, negative 2. And another point on the y-axis, 0, negative 6. What do all of these points have in common? Yes, the x-intercept is always 0. So it doesn't matter where you are on the y-axis or where the line's going to cross the y-axis, we know wherever that point is that the x-coordinate will be 0. So to find the y-intercept of a line, since we know the x is 0, we need only find the value of y when x is 0. So to find the y-intercept, we first plug in 0 for x, since we already know the x has to be 0, and then we solve the resulting equation for y. So looking back at the equation that we used last time, this time let's find the y-intercept. So we replace the x with 0 this time, and then when we simplify this, that gives us negative 2y equals 18. Then we would divide both sides by negative 2 to solve this for y. So that gives us y equals negative 9. So we know that this line is going to cross the y-axis at negative 9. Or in other words, the point 0, negative 9. Now we could plot these two points and draw a line through them, and that would be our graph of our equation. However, sometimes we make mistakes and we don't actually have the correct intercepts, so we're going to get the wrong line. So a good way to check ourselves is to find what we call a checkpoint. A checkpoint is simply a third point on the line, and um, this is going to be a point where we actually pick what to put in for x. So we get to pick any number we want to plug in for x, except for 0, of course, because we already know what the y is when x is 0, because that's our um, that's our y-intercept. So we plug in some other number for x, and then we solve that equation for y. 
and that will give us an X coordinate which we chose and a Y coordinate which we would find in the next step of our checkpoint. So looking at back at the same equation, this time we'll find a checkpoint. Now let's say we pick the number 4 to plug in for X. So we replace the X with 4 and now we have to solve this e resulting equation for Y. So simplifying this would give us 12 minus 2Y equals 18. So now we would have to subtract 12 from both sides to, sol to finish solving for Y. This will give us negative 2Y equals 6 and then just one more step to get y by itself and that is to divide both sides by negative 2. This gives us y equals negative 3. So we picked 4 as our x coordinate and we found negative 3 to be our y coordinate. So our checkpoint is the point 4, negative 3. So now here are the steps for using intercepts to graph a linear equation. First we find the x-intercept by plugging in 0 for y and solving for x. Then we find the y-intercept by putting in 0 for x and solving for y. We find a checkpoint by picking a number to plug in for x and solving for y. And then we plot those three points on a grid, draw a line through those three points, and then we'd be sure to extend our line to the edges of our grid and put arrowheads on the ends to indicate that the lines go on indefinitely in both directions. Now if our checkpoint doesn't line up with our two intercepts, we know something went wrong and we need to go back and check our work. And that's the, really the purpose of the checkpoint. So here we have three points that we already found for this equation, 3x minus 2y equals 18. So if we plot these points, there's the point 6, 0. There's the point 0, negative 9, and the point 4, negative 3. So now we can see these are lining up in a straight line, so now we're ready to draw a line through those three points, making sure we extend our line and we put arrowheads on the ends. Okay, let's try another example. This time we're going to graph the equation negative 2x plus 8y equals 14, using the same method, which is to use the intercepts. So first we find the x-intercept by letting y equals 0. This will give us negative 2x equals 14 when we multiply and simplify. Now we'll need to divide both sides by negative 2 to get x equals negative 7. So our x-intercept is negative 7. In other words, the line is passing through the point negative 7, 0. Now let's find the y-intercept. So remember we find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. And then if we simplify this, that will give us 8y equals 14. So we divide both sides by 8 to isolate the y. Now, of course, 14 eighths we could reduce to 7 fourths, but of course, where is 7 fourths going to go on our y axis? It's kind of hard to tell until we have converted it to a mixed number or decimal. So here we converted it to the mixed number 1 and 3 fourths. So now we can tell that it's going to be 3 fourths the way between the number 1 and the number 2 on the y axis. So our y intercept is 1 and 3 fourths, so the line is passing through the point 0, 1 and 3 fourths. Now let's find a checkpoint. So remember, for a checkpoint, you get to pick whatever number you want to plug in for x. So let's say we pick 5. Let's put in 5 in place of x. So that will give us negative 10 plus 8y equals 14. Then we add 10 to both sides to get 8y equals 24. Divide both sides by 8 to isolate the y, and that gives us y equals 3. So then our checkpoint is the point 5, 3, because we chose the x to be 5 and we found the y to be 3. So let's plot these three points and hopefully they're going to line up in a straight line. So let's see, here's the point negative 7, 0. Here's the point 0, 1, and 3 fourths. And the point 5, 3. Notice these are all nicely lining up in a straight line. 
So now we can draw a line through those three points. And that's the line that represents the equation negative 2x plus 8y equals 14. Now let's look at some special lines. Horizontal and vertical lines are different from lines that are slanted because they only have one intercept. And so finding the two intercepts um, is really not enough. And finding a checkpoint would only give us two points. And so there's actually an easier way to graph these lines, which is nice. Notice that the horizontal line, which is up top, only has a y-intercept. And the y-intercept can help you to graph the line if you know it's a horizontal line or to find the equation of the line. Because the horizontal line is given by an equation of the form y equals b, where b is the y-intercept. And then a vertical line is very similar, except for notice that the vertical line only has an x-intercept. So whatever the value is there that is crossing the x-axis will help you find the equation of the line and also graph the line. So a vertical line is given by an equation of the form x equals a, where a is the x-intercept. So here's an example of a horizontal line and say that you were asked to find the equation of that line. Well, horizontal line has the same form. The equation is y equals b, where the y-intercept is b. So if the y-intercept is negative 7, our equation is y equals negative 7. You can also look, think of this another way. Think of this as the line where every point has a y-coordinate of negative 7, or in other words, the line where y is always negative 7. Now let's graph an equation of a line given the equation. Here are the equations y equals 3. So this has the form y equals some number we call b. And so we know that it's a horizontal line based on this form and it has a y-intercept of 3. So another way to think of it is er a line where every point has a y-coordinate of 3 or the line where y is always 3. Okay, so let's find the equation of this line. Notice that this line is a vertical line. It's a vertical line with an x-intercept of 4. So the equation is x equals 4. Or another way to think of it is the line where every point has an x-coordinate of 4. Or the line where x is always 4. And that's really what the equation says, right? x equals 4. It always equals 4. Okay. So one last example, let's graph the equation of the line x equals 8. Well, x equals 8 is of the form x equals some number. So it's a vertical line with an x-intercept of 8. Another way to think of it, remember, is the line where every point has an x-coordinate of 8, or in other words, the line where x is always 8. So that would have to be a vertical line crossing the x-axis at 8. So there's the graph of our line. Okay, so now you know one method for graphing these linear equations by finding the intercepts or if there are special lines, vertical or horizontal lines. You can basically use the equation and what the equation is really saying to graph those lines. So have fun graphing. See you later.